Assalamu alaikum. I have been really looking forward to painting Imran Khan since some time now. And I think it was in 2013, I'm not sure, when he first fell off a container platform. And that's when I made an elef elephant sized portrait. Now, with the current scenario and in the midst of Pakistan's turbulent reality, a beacon of hope has emerged, as we majority believe, and it is in the form of Imran Khan. A leader who ventured into the realm of politics fueled by an unwavering determination to bring about a lasting change. Khan's struggle resonates deeply within our hearts of the nation burdened by despair, where hope seems like a distant memory. With an ardent conviction, he embarked on a challenging journey to alleviate the suffering of his people and to restore their faith in a brighter tomorrow. Yet. Even amidst the tempestuous storm, this guy's unwavering resolve remained unshaken. He drew strength from the resilience of Pakistani people, for, from the unspoken desires for a better future that burns within each of our hearts. So painting a portrait of a leader, Kaptan, what is the criteria? I'm going to simplify and break it down to a few points. According to my studies, portrait of a leader must be painted in genius strokes. So having said that, a great leader's portrait painting should accurately represent the physical features of the subject, capturing the unique features and character. The likeness should be recognized and easily identifiable as a person being portrayed. As far as composition is concerned, well, the composition, the stance of the painting should be well balanced with careful consideration given to the placement of the subject within the frame. The pose, the facial expression and the body language of the subject should all be carefully considered to create a sense of authority, strength and leadership. For symbolism, a portrait painting should include symbolic elements that convey the subject's importance and achievements. This might include subjects uh, or objects or imaginary that are associated with the person's life or accomplishments. As far as color and lighting is concerned, well, the use of color and lighting can help to enhance the mood and the atmosphere of the painting and can also be used to emphasize certain aspects of the subject's personality and character. The painting should reflect the values and beliefs of the society in which it was created and should reflection and should be a reflection of the time and place in which the subject lived or is looking forward to. So let's begin this attempt and see where it goes. Now I'm going to draw and try to break down Khan's basic facial uh, features in geometrical planes. At this stage, I'm more interested in understanding a rhythm to his elongated rectangular features. His eyes barely have eyelids. He has light colored eyebrows and I'm just trying to sketch and study some basic key points that are foremost in the focus. So he has high cheekbones like Kadyazam, Mr. Jinnah had a sleeker nose where Imran Khan has a more fleshy, broad apex nose and alar furo, the sharp nostrils. The root or the glabella of the nose is an average wide. There happens to be a lot of sun exposure on his skin, uh, thus resulting in wrinkles near the eye sockets and the glabella, or also the forehead. And he pinches it while he's analyzing a lot. So who could blame him? I think he does worry a lot about Pakistan. Okay, moving further on, uh, he has sharp analytical eyes, but I can barely recognize eyelids. Lower eyelids are, yes, they are visible, but smooth and not the upper ones. Ultimately, the presence or the absence of visible eyelids can vary among individuals due to a combination of genetics and evolutionary factors. It is a testament to the vast diversity and complexity of human anatomy, highlighting the intriguing variations that exist within our species. Okay, so this is where I, I think I made the head size slightly larger uh, than my previous calculations. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly shrink it 
to side size uh, a portrait should not be bigger than your hand and uh, that is what i am achieving to establish so bottom line is khan has interesting geometric eyes these mysterious sharp and geometric patan eyes possesses a captivating allure reflecting resilience and determination their precise angles and the fine contours express a focus that cuts through obstacles with unwavering intensity these eyes hold a glimpse into the profound depth of emotions conveying both strength and sensitivity these mysterious and sharp geometric patan eyes possess a captivating allure reflecting the resilience and determination their precise angles and defined contours express a focus that cuts through obstacles with unwavering intensity these eyes i think they hold a glimpse into the profound depths of emotions conveying both strength and sensitivity of khan like the facets of a diamond they reveal an inner fire that illuminates the path ahead the sharpness of his gaze commands attention conveying confidence and readiness to face all challenges head on these eyes are reminiscent of ancient wisdom inspiring administration and they ignite a spark of curiosity beckoning others to explore the depths of the captivating soul now let's examine mr kaptan's forehead to me it exudes an aura of wisdom and intellect captivating the beholder's attention it signifies a vast canvas of intricate thoughts and deep contemplation such a forehead grants ample space for creative ideas to flourish and innovation to thrive it symbolizes a mind open to new prospects perspectives capable of embracing knowledge and unraveling mysteries with its commanding presence a broad forehead in men showcases confidence and authority leaving an indelible impression on those who encounter its majestic breadth it serves as a prominent feature reminding us of the limitless potential and intellectual powers that lies within mr khan's anatomical features lastly he has great throwing hair and i can say no more <laughs> i am going to try and give it my best hope you guys enjoy my efforts in making these educational videos based on helping everyone grow together and prosper हमारी है वो सहरा भी हमारा
جہاں کوئی غلام ہے غیرت ہے بڑی چیز جہاں تک دو میں پہناتی ہے درویش کو تاج سر دارا افراد کے ہاتھوں میں ہے اقوام کی تقدیر ہر فرد ہے ملت کے مقدر کا ستارہ دی ہاتھ سے دے کر اگر آزاد ہو ملت ہے ایسی تجارت میں مسلمان کا خسارہ دنیا کو ہے پھر مارکا روح و بدن پیش تہذیب نے پھر اپنے درندوں کو ابھارا اللہ کو پا مردی مومن پہ بھروسہ ابلیس کو یورپ کی مشینوں کا سہارا اس قوم کو شمشیر کی حاجت نہیں رہتی وہ جس کے جوانوں کی خودی صورت فولاد شاہی کبھی پرواز سے تھک کر نہیں گرتا پردم ہے اگر تو تو نہیں خطرہ افتاد غلامی میں نہ کام آتی ہیں شمشیریں نہ تدبیریں جو ہوں ذوق یقی پیدا وہ کٹ جاتی ہیں زنجیر
मुस्कुराता रहता दुनिया से कहता मिल जाएंगे मुझको खाब भी दिल को जिंदा रखता खुशियों से भरता इतना तो है खुद पे बस्ती में घूमता बारा हिम्मत है तो आए कोई मुझको सम छाए वो मिट चुकी उम्मीद Thank you.